What's up, everybody? Big Herc, 916. Want to say thank you for tuning in to another edition of my vlog, for supporting. You know I'm all about that positivity and that motivation. And I like to keep you guys laced up. So this video is about the guys who think they're player but they really ain't that player man these are the guys who are going after these females on <clears throat> these these sites that are usually pay dates um, sugar daddies uh, seeking arrangements um, so I don't know some of the other ones out there but those are two of the biggest where you'll find a lot of uh, you know, high, you know, high look females, you know, eight, nine, tens, um, a lot of foreign girls flossing their thing on there. And, um, you know, when it says, uh, you know, I'm looking for a particular guy, you know, a lot of times guys think that, hey, I'm that guy, but I'm better looking than the average. So she's going to want me because of me. And see, this goes back to the old attitude. You can't change a hoe into a housewife. So just because you think you look good, you got a big hammer, you think she's going to uh, love you for you, or you can make her not want to go after the, ca the, the cash flow. You're all wrong, man. See, a female who already has it in her mind that... Her coochie has value. She's not going to change up for the D. She's not going to change up because you think you you got a great smile and you're in shape. Nah, man. She only changes up for the mental game. And even then, she ain't going to change up. She's still going to go get it. But if you got the mental, you might be able to somehow uh, rein it in. But most of you guys who got the, who got the somewhat pocketbook... And the looks, you don't have the mental down. You're soft mentally. <clears throat> so you get on these sites and you go out with these females and you think that, you know, you look all special because you got your dime piece. But every time you go out, you're spending. And like I said, you don't mind paying because you got the money. But in the back of her mind, you're just another trick. You're another guy in the long lineup for her to reach her top and whatever that top is it might be the guy with you know the the multi-million dollar crib with the bugatti or the dude with the um vacation home and you know the private jet or it could be the guy who just is at the crib playing uh fortnite Smoking on the um, on a vape, but he got mad mouthpiece, mad mental game. So you never know what the ultimate objective is of these females. But one thing you can know for sure is that if she's on that site, she's got an agenda. She's not on there because she's naive. She's not on there because she's game goofy. Somebody put her up on game and laced her on what she needs to do to get that paper. So if you expect her to stop getting paper because you took her out to Nobu or you took her out to Boa or Roof Chris, you can forget about it. She's going to still get that paper, man. And she's going to get it one way or the other. She'll play you for multiple dinner dates. But you won't get no ass. You'll have company. People will think, oh man, this guy, he's got a, a beautiful girl with him. And you walk around with your head up thinking you, you done achieved something. But you ain't achieving anything because you ain't, you ain't laying down no hammer. All you do is spending. And whatever you drink, she drank. See, a lot of these girls can drink, drink for drink. And it ain't the cheap drinks either. And it ain't the cheap restaurants. Sushi. Uh, mixed drinks, you know, somewhere that's exclusive, 
They want to be seen. And eventually they're going to want to go and buy something nice for themselves. So, unless you come in straight gangster and lay down a cold demonstration of how you're the god of, you know, the bedroom, the mighty Thor with the hammer, <laughs> you're just another trick, man. And uh, I've seen these cats, man, I had a pot and he said, you know, you know, every time we hook up, he'd have this little, a different female. And he was like, oh, I met her at a coffee shop. Or I met her while I was riding my bike. And come to find out, these were women he, were, he was picking up off this seeking arrangement site. And uh, the reason he was on there was because he was very uh, picky. And he only wanted to date eights, nines, and tens, you know, um, Instagram model type girls, you know, girls who could have been in Playboy or, you know, just these really beautiful, exotic looking women. But uh, when you find these women, like I said, on one of these sites, they already have a certain mentality. It ain't like you knocked her at uh, Whole Foods or you guys bumped into each other at Ralph's or something. <clears throat> you met her on a site, bro. And, um, you know, yeah, you know, she might go out on a couple of dates, but uh, ain't nothing cracking. And sure enough, this cat man, all these girls he used to date, he one of them type of dudes, you know. He 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 said, well, if, if she's like this at this level, she's gonna make you wait. So he, of course he didn't. He he know he got played. He didn't probably hit one percent of the bras he met on the site because he was a weenie like that, and they all made him wait because they knew his game. See, <laughs> what are you waiting for? You think because she maybe has a little more in the looks department that she's, you know, willing, she's willing to make you wait? I mean, to tell you the truth, she probably knew when she first saw you within the first 30 seconds, minute, to, you know, whether or not she's going to give you up the draws. She knew. So the waiting stuff was all game. You know, a female knows what she wants, man. And I've, you know, met a ton of different women. And the most attractive women will tell you in a heartbeat, if they're into somebody, they're into them. And they're going to, if they want to sleep with them, they're going to sleep with them. It ain't a matter of waiting because, oh, it's, it's got to be special. Or, you know, you thinking, oh, man, she's she's different. Man, she's on seeking arrangements, man. So it's got to be an arrangement. If you make the right arrangement, you could have probably have hit it that night, but you would have been paying a little bit more besides that, that old uh, sushi dinner. But, um, yeah, man, a lot of these guys, they, they, they game goofy, man. And you're looking in the wrong areas for the right woman. You want to knock your model like that? Go out and do some hiking. You know, maybe go take you some yoga classes. Um, you know, get into uh, spin, spin cycling. You know, just do some things where you're going to interact with more females and then you can share some conversation. You know, go hang out and um, frequent maybe some of the, the little art galleries or something. But, you know, sugar, sugar daddy, she about her sugar daddy. And, you know, on the flip side, the guys who have the, the you know, the wife at home already, they don't mind going on there and... And, you know, having a little, what they think is a side chick and, and spending. Because they spending for the uh, the privacy. They spending because they don't want her to run her mouth. So, that's the flip side. And maybe she's thinking one day he's going to leave his wife, but it ain't going to happen. He knows, you know, that you're playing the game. And if you're on there, you're seeing probably two or three other guys just like him. And so, it's not going to be about any type of love there. That's all business. But, uh, you know, the, these women, they're smart, man. The same dude, I remember one time he had one female, I guess he met on the site. And she was, you know, really pretty. And they went out to eat and had a good conversation. And he gave her his uh, one of his infamous massages. And, you know, he said he, he, he went ahead and he, he stroked her down, you know. He ain't hammering, man, like we do. He's stroking he stroked her down, you know, and in the morning, you know, he thinking she just wake up and go to breakfast and then, you know, she'll go home. She's like, hey, I, I need 
He said, $500? Yeah, I need $500 for last night. And if you don't come up with the $500, I'm going to say that I was raped. He's like, oh, shit. And he paid her. Never seen her again. He thought they had a special moment. Special moment, my ass, man. You guys got to wake up, man. You're letting yourself be deceived by the coochie. Like that's the, the, the holy oracle. Man, the phallus is the power, man. But you got to combine that with some game behind it. You just can't be out there acting stupid. And you ain't got to force yourself on any of these females either. But it's definitely not uh, a website like that where you're going to find, you know, wifey material. If you're just trying to hit, just spend the money and hit. If that's your game, if you're tricking like that, spend the money and hit. But trying to romanticize... Man, you better off going to get you a, a genuine female to go out with it and have a real dinner, and at least you'll have some some uh, engaging conversation that's not paid for. So, just a little game. Big Herc, nine one six. Make sure you holler at me. Life coaching, mentoring, online available.